I don't waste any time on it. Yeah. Uh, so for starters, why don't you gentlemen just introduce yourselves? Oh, sorry. Okay, sorry. Hello, our name is Tally Hall. My name is Joe. Hi, I'm Zubin. My name is Robert Howard Cantor. My name is Robert the Second, aka Andrew. I'm Ross. Okay, and uh, what inspired you guys to create music? Uh, Benjamin Franklin. Electricity. Yeah, this guy. Uh, also electricity. Um, Power Rangers. Where, when, when did you all meet each other? Wait, Oliver, do you want our serious, uh, serious answers? Serious answers, Oliver? It would probably be best. Okay, so, uh, so, okay. okay. Everything inspires right. us. To right. Everything yeah. inspires yeah. us to I create music. To Life inspires us to create music. Not other, not necessarily other music, though, right? No, just other life happening. Life and um, yeah, that tends to be a weird question. So, yeah, most like, it's, it's not always consistent. Like people really mean what what music you like or what you sound like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but most most modern day punk rock. That's a sarcastic answer, but I think that uh, yeah, country. That's a, that's a sarcastic a answer, but um, country, uh, techno, punk too. rock. Uh, hardcore, post emo, post hardcore emo. What else? We consider ourselves a post hardcore emo band. And classical in July 20. Classical's not bad. Classical's great. Uh, none of these are sarcastic. We love yeah. all, we love everything, everybody, and all music, especially you. In all seriousness, though, all music is fine and good, and, you know, as long as it's interesting and fun to listen. And as long as Zubin doesn't get to sing it. It's not fun to listen to. I cut myself there. But uh, yeah, no, interesting and worth listening to. <laughs> when, when did you all meet each other? Okay, so this is serious. Rob, would you want to tell him? I'll tell it, and then I'll pass the torch to the whoever I, who I met next. I yeah, met Zubin yeah. in high school. Alright. I met Andrew in college at uh, Rob's house. Through me. I could have kept the Rob. torch for that. It's okay. So, Andrew, your turn. Um, I met Rob through a living arrangement. I basically uh, a mutual friend who went to the house. And yeah, but Rob's already been introduced. Yeah, you're yeah, the first you met Joe. Joe. Start so you know how it's cyclical introduction. It's cyclical. I met right. Joe. Um, how was the next one? Through my housemates. He just walked in the door. <laughs> I really did. I just walked Actually, in. I went to the practices one day, and I saw Zubin. And Zubin gave me a look, kind of like I thought, "Oh, this guy doesn't like me very much." Right? Remember? Yeah. I hate it. Yeah. Truthfully yeah. though, uh, Joe and I actually sat next to each other in class every day. For Rob the had kind semester. of an, it was his introduction was sort of awkward. He was I was sitting right next to him. He was like, uh, "Hey, uh, you know Andrew Lorich? That was our mutual friend." And I said, "Yeah, I know Andrew Lorich." And he's like, "Oh, cool. Uh, I live with him." No, um, that's not what it was at all. Yeah, so you it know, was uh, awkward. It was totally awkward. You we, were, we had met before. No, you we just had to remember. Oh, yeah, right, no, that's we had possible. met. Andrew and you were working on a wedding video. And had I met the bad guy here? So I'm not awkward. I'm a good guy. Boorish memory. Uh, no, 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 I don't think I met you until we were sitting in the class together. That's it. When did he introduce us? You were in his attic and you guys were working on a wedding video. Together. And you came up and, oh, that's right. Yeah, no, it was, it was brief. It was very brief. Then you you were also very kind of mellow. Which it was in general, strange. sort of boisterous and funny. Uh, in general, but I try to tone it down. When you were in the So as not to turn people off? With strangers, yeah. All right. And, uh, Ross? Wait, who are you? Oh no, I have to introduce someone yes. that Ross. Yeah. Yes. Andrew met me because when I walked in one day and Rob had me just around him. Yes. Um, I ha went to Ross's high school and I was campaigning for student government in college and I happened to go by Ross's dorm. I had never really talked to him in high school. And he was, he, he was, he was explaining things about bongo drums. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remembered that and he was talking about drumming and how he was a great drummer and how drumming, uh, this drumming that. I think I was talking about so how he was Oh, on and on about I'm the best drummer ever and ever. Okay, so anyway, he's a good guy and a good drummer. And I remembered that and I told the band once our first drummer quit that I remembered this guy Ross from high school. And, uh... No, wait, now Ross introduces me. Right, so... No, I'm just kidding. No, no, what's your first impression of Rob? That makes sense. You gotta go in a circle. Okay. No. But you're going all the way around a circle of first impressions. We lost how you met Oliver. How did I meet Oliver? Yeah, and then Oliver. Irrelevant. Irrelevant. I met Oliver. Go back to Rob. Online dating service? Yeah. Dating service. Yeah. When when did you all. that that Yeah, where where did the name Tally Hall come from? Zubin? Um, uh, there's a mini mall around our house. Well, it used to be a mini mall called Tally Hall. It was a food court, and um, there were a lot of antu antiquities and arcade games and fun little oddities, and um, that closed down. And what uh, remains of it is now called Marvin's Marvelous Mechanical Museum, and it's basically now just an arcade 
where kids go and play and get scared. And as I understand it, Andrew, you came from New Jersey. How did coming from somewhere where Tally Hall wasn't affect your perception of that name? I fought vehemently against it. <laughs> he did it first, actually. I was a little close to it. I, was I, was like, great. I, I wanted to name the band Party Boy. Be no, you wanted to name That's it Not a, a Fan. Yeah. Oh, Not a Fan. You That's were a good up, one, too. You were so for Not yeah. a Fan. Not a Fan. Not a Fan. Yeah, Not yeah. a Fan of Not but, a Fan. But uh, eventually, I, I came around the idea and it stuck with us. We were able to introduce uh, Marvin's to Andrew, and I think that that sort of helped solidify the image. What's Marvin's? Job? I don't think I visited Marvin's until uh, till after the band was called Kelly Hall. So like what? Before we recorded? Probably when we were trying to convince the band. No, it was Marvin's. It was before we recorded. It's probably that year. Yeah. So it took like a couple of years to actually went there. Yeah. Well, it was we didn't take your blindfold off until like yeah. Years after that I couldn't. So. But you were I just there for Kelly Hall was kind of an abstract name up. until we started to sort of see the image for the album anyway. And uh, wh when did it become clear that Tally Hall could become a full-time commitment, and how did it affect how did it affect your educations? Uh, well, Zubin and I never actually graduated or have yet to. Um, so we had to from college or high school. From college, I should clear that up. Yeah, from college. I finished two years, and Zubin finished three. Uh, Joe, wow. Robin, and Andrew all finished all four years, although they were all planning on pursuing more education anyway. So it basically, was kind of putting everything on hold for a bit. Uh, kind of just doing this and seeing how it works.